All right, welcome back. So this time we're going to go in and do some controls for the guild. So first thing, we're gonna go into our account and here you can see uh, within the settings, if you go scroll all the way to the right, you'll see manage guild. Uh, this is where you're gonna set up your controls. So right now, this I only have two players with in or two castles or two players within the guild but what it's going to do is uh, I can refresh list no other players if you have a locked up guild where it's a private guild if you have an application list that's where it's going to be listed on the bottom you will have uh, reject or accept button down here where you can do that um, also you can go into this next tab which is accept and kick okay this is where you can actually add by igg id number so it tracks not by the player's name but the igg id number so even when they are when they do change their name it's still going to keep track of their id number so for example let's say we go to manage guild i'm going to go ahead and add tester account one as auto accept which means every time it's going to accept when they go out and come back to reapply to guild it's just going to automatically accept for that to happen obviously the control that you have for managing guild castle needs to be r4 and above and i can also do this now if i don't like the person or whatever i can throw them onto the blacklist and they'll basically um, anytime they apply is going to get rejected and you'll see on the accept and kick list that now you can find them on the tester account on the uh, enable auto reject and kick blacklist uh, you can also do enable auto accept which means this account every time it applies is going to go ahead and uh, be accepted automatically or you could add them again by igg number as well Another thing you can do is enable auto rank, which means you can set their rank. So let's just take this person off of move to whitelist. Um, you can always delete them too, where it's just not on the list. To add them back in, if they're in guild, you could just do right click and add them auto, um, auto accept and they'll be on that list again. And of course, since you are r4 you cannot put other accounts in r4 you can only do r3 at max but if your controlling account was r5 you can set it up to r4 and then if uh, for a specific person that you don't want to set rank to they'll come in as r1 and that's what they'll stay if you have this option checked off Okay, let's go back to manage guild list. We can always refresh um, and let's look at some of the options. So you can do add to auto accept and rank. You can add to blacklist. You can just, if they are lower rank and you are R4, you can kick them. Uh, you can also set their rank for them. For example, if we set them to R4, it's just not gonna do it, right? Because you're only R4. And let's see if it shows up on, no, oh, it does not. Okay, and then also you can set, what else? View statistics here, uh, which shows you Coliseum rank, leaders, all of that information about that specific castle. Another thing you can do about this uh, particular account um, or guild, right? You can control those, you can do accept, and auto innate or rank uh, you can do that another thing you can do is go into your guild tab and you see like uh, view, view detail stats this will give you like how many monsters they've hunted how many things they bought purchases what levels this is how you uh, check and see who's being active who's not being active and that's um, some of the things that you can do to control your guild uh, acceptance and all of that so that's um, I hope that helps and I'll see you guys on the next video thanks